Okay, let's have a look at this uh, beautiful section. Um, it looks like stockinette, but it has like this, I call it ice skating because it looks to me like right, left, right, left, like when you ice skate, but, um, or like it could look like, um, like hardwood floors, old hardwood floors. Uh, anyway, um, it is made with um, simple like knit, knit two togethers decreases. And then you have like an increase on the other side um, of your repeat to like make up for the stitches that you're decreasing. And this way you're like making the stitch, like the whole panel of stockinette lean in one direction or the other. Um, it's a seven stitch repeat plus one for the edge. And then depending on if you're doing the throw or the blanket size, like the throw or the lapkin size, there's a few extra stitches on the side um, that are like being knit or and purled just to um, make the right stitch count basically. So let's work up a few uh, repeats of this stitch. Um, so it's a seven stitch repeat, uh, four rows repeat um, that you just repeat for like the whole blanket. And that's all. Right, so I'm going to show you how to uh, make this stitch. Um, I've made a simple uh, small swatch for one repeat. So I have uh, eight stitches here, seven plus one for the repeat. And I started with two rows of stockinettes, so one row of knits and one row of pearls, just to have like a basis to start off. Um, you can put like a stitch marker in between each repeat to help you keep track and make sure you're not like offsetting your stitches, um, if that helps you. So the first row of the repeat you're going to knit two stitch together. So to knit two stitch together, we're just like inserting our right hand needles through both stitches as if to knit and we're knitting them together, literally. Then we're going to knit two. And then we're going to make the increase. For this increase, you're going to take your right hand needle and make sure you, you keep it at the back of your work compared to your left hand needle. Keep it at the back and you're going to insert your needle from top to bottom through the pearl bump. And you're gonna knit that and okay i split my yarn that's not working and pull up a loop don't drop the uh, original stitch because you're gonna knit that one next don't worry i'll show you a few more times um throughout the the pattern so we're gonna knit two and then we have that final one that's like the extra for the border that's like a just knit one we're gonna turn our work and on the wrong side rows uh it's very easy you're gonna just purl all the stitches so for your blanket, you do have your garter stitch edge edges, um, which are like knit on both sides, but anything else uh, you can purl for this stitch. Why is this splitting? Okay. All right, so we're back on the right side. Now the second um, like special row uh, of the repeat is um, just the same as the first one, but offset by um, four stitches, I think. So we're gonna knit two, then we're gonna make that increase. Sorry, we're gonna knit three because we have that border stitch, that extra from the extra stitch of the repeat. And then we're gonna make that increase. So now how did I see that I was um, missing a stitch? Um, you should do your increases always on the edge of this one. Um, so when I was on that one, I noticed like, this is not wrong. I'm in the middle of like the stockinette section. That's not where I should be doing something. Um, but this will come clearer once you work a few rows of the repeat. Anyway, let's do that increase again. So you're gonna have your right hand needle at the back of your work, your left hand needle to the front. You're gonna insert your right hand needle from top to bottom through the pearl bump. And then you're gonna knit that loop and knit the original stitch that you had on. And then we are going to knit two, and then we're going to knit two together for the last two stitches. And on the next row, we're going to purl every stitch again. And that's a full repeat of our um, stitch. All right, so here you can start to see um, this section is going to lean to the left and that section is going to lean to the right. Um, and when you have like more repeats next to each other, it makes that beautiful uh, stitch pattern.
yeah, make sure you um, count your stitches and like keep track here. Uh, it's very easy to be offset by one stitch and um, not so easy to read where you're at. So uh, for this one, I highly recommend uh, keeping careful track of your stitches.